Hi, welcome to the Authentic Gardening Channel. Today I would like to address one big issue, transplanting your seedlings from little pots into the regular garden beds. That's a very vulnerable moment when your babies go from looking like this, perfectly healthy little jewels, to that. Horribly beaten up, shriveled, and eaten by bugs almost beyond recognition. This is the same pepper that was transplanted into the regular bed about a week ago. And look what happened. Whether you start your own seeds or buy seedlings at the nursery, the starter plants had been in very controlled, protected, almost sterile environment. And then, boom, they transition into the real life of a garden. Being transplanted is traumatic for plants. First thing the transplants do, they put all their energy into growing more roots, which inhibits their above ground growth. At the same time, tender starter plants suddenly get exposed to weather. In spring, Temperature fluctuations are wide from the day to the night time, from one week to another. Colder temperatures make plants shrivel. All sorts of bugs in the soil, on the surface of the soil, and in the air rush to taste the disoriented newcomers. These are my peppers that I planted into the permanent bed almost a month ago. The temperatures jumped up into the 80s at the end of April here in Northern California foothills and it felt like summer had arrived. I guess I felt overly enthusiastic, forgetting that the much safer summer crops planting starts at the end of May here. Because after one week of the heat wave, temperatures dropped again into the 50s, bringing back stormy weather. It's been about one week now that temperatures are climbing into the 80s and 90s, but look at these poor babies. They're still a horrible mess. Same thing happened with my eggplants that I transplanted into the permanent bed about the same time as peppers. They're looking better now, but for a couple of weeks they were mercilessly chewed up by some bugs that I was never able to spot. The bugs turned my eggplants into skeletons. But look at them now. They're bursting with healthy new growth. So, what can you do to help your transplants in this transition? How can you shelter them to make the changeover less painful for them? A mini greenhouse built in place around transplants is one way of protecting them against the cold. There are many anti-bug sprays on the market that can protect the plants from a vicious bug attack. You can sprinkle your plants with food-grade diatomaceous earth, the leaves and the soil around them. That will repel bugs. These extra steps will help you start your garden more smoothly. Or if you have no extra time or energy to put into your garden, you can do what I do, which is nothing. Remember one thing, plants want to live. Nature equipped them with all sorts of resources to fight off bugs and bad weather. If you lay the foundation of good organic soil for them, they will adjust and will take off strongly as soon as the root system and the weather gets established. Let's go back to my eggplants. The chewed up skeletons of the older leaves are about to be a thing of the past. After the last two days of hot weather, the new growth has been taking over so fast, it doubles every next time I look at them. No holes from bugs. These plants have established their defense mechanisms. Same with the tomato plant here on the right. It was transplanted together with these two tomatoes, but got picked by the bugs and eaten 
almost entirely. That's why it is so much smaller, yet it is completely recovered, all on its own, and is going strong. The bottom line of the story, prepare your garden beds well, use rich organic soil, and trust that transplants will adjust and thrive after a temporary fallback. And of course, it's always a good idea to keep some extra seedlings around in case some of your transplants are not gonna make it. Plant in peace. Don't worry too much watching your plants struggling a little bit. Happy gardening now, and I will see you in the next video.